This November, a select group of North Carolina State University engineering scientists were invited to visit Santa's workshop and see firsthand how he makes toys. You've read that Santa has the most sophisticated engineering technologies in the world, are likely aware that he has advanced electrocephalographic methods, that is EEGs, to listen to children's thoughts, to find out whether they've been naughty or nice and what presents they want. You've heard about his fleet of sleek, high-technology sleighs that deliver presents around the world in a single night, landing on rooftops without even being seen. And our specialists in nanotechnology at NC State understand that Santa has a miniature manufacturing facility capable of producing just about any toy that a child wants. But to see the toy workshop in person, that's another matter. This first-of-its-kind visit was a goodwill gesture aimed at improving the relations between the North Pole and humankind. It represents another way humankind can learn and benefit from the technological wonders at the North Pole. I'm greatly appreciative of Santa opening up his research facility to us. The engineering in his miniature toy maker was wonderful. Having spent a lifetime studying material behavior, I was particularly fascinated with the way he tagged and then energized the interfacial energy at the grain boundaries to manipulate domains and produce a wide range of materials for the toys. Some real exotic ones I've never seen before. I've already directed my students to reproduce his grain boundary energizer in my world-class lab to improve Santa's work. With our expertise, Santa will be able to even produce better toys. I was taken to Santa's workshop and shown a miniature robotic system that assembles toy parts. The unique way that the electromagnetic actuators and the highly intelligent control algorithms rapidly joined together tiny components was rather impressive. I know of many surgeons who, with my humble improvements, will want to use this approach to reduce the invasiveness of cardiothoracic surgery. Here at NC State we have a major effort in renewable energy. We can help Santa out a great deal in this area. In fact, when touring the toy complex, Santa explained that everything is fueled by the sun. Of course, this is no mystery to us. After all, the sun is the source of all energy, and it's available, it's abundant, it's clean, and now it's even green. Uh, Santa showed me that uh, what I thought uh, was pretty nice. He said that the floors, the walls, the roofs, and even the grounds are all collecting solar energy. Santa took me deep under the snow to the toy facility, protected from the harsh cold and low temperatures. Then we passed the underground farms where they grow their food. Not surprisingly, Santa knew me by name and my extraordinary work at NASA. He leaned over and whispered in my ear the way we protect ourselves from the harsh conditions and the way we grow our food use the same technologies that NASA should use on the moon, on Mars, and beyond. The key is the closed ecosystem, how the atmosphere and plants work together. As you've just heard, our top scientists came away from their visit to Santa's workshop with great ideas that they have already begun to explore in their labs. It was also a nice break from their highly competitive day-to-day -day research environment. Guys, 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 we, we, we have to play better together. We have to play as a team. We're taking bad shots. We're not setting screens. We have to execute so we can get the shot that we want, okay? All right, we're going to run flex. We're going to run flex. We're going to take it all the way through until we get that layer, okay? Right, we'll set it up. We'll set it up. Good, good, good. Good cut. Good cut. Good cut. That's it. Excellent. Good screen. That's it. Good. Duck in. Duck in. Shot. Excellent. Let's go. Three team on three. One, two, three, three! Woo! All right. <laughs> Happy holidays to all you engineers and scientists out there, both practicing and future, from Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at NC State.